Um, so a notice to quit was sent to Ms. Marshall for lease violations on March 14th, giving her until May 1st to vacate and um, plaintiff does not yet have possession of this unit. Ms. Marshall, did you, did you get that information? He's what in. information are we talking about? I got about a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of papers and I read them as best I could and I didn't read them all. Okay. All right. Do you, are you planning on getting somebody to kind of help you with this? Yes, sir. So, I am. Go I'm, ahead. I'm just waiting on them. Oh, thanks so much. You're welcome. That's nice of you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Who, who were you waiting on? Some friends. Um, they're busy, and um, I'm waiting on them to help me out. Okay. How? Okay. Your friends. How were they going to help you? Well, you move. I, uh, move the uh, return the the um, items that I have in my apartment to the people that um, should have them back, and um, to uh, clean the carpet. I've tried to clean the carpet uh, best I can, um, and it's not working out too good. So I've got some more cleaner. Um, and I have a trouble uh, bending over, but I've tried to clean the carpet as best I can, and I'm depending on them to clean the rest of the carpet. Okay. All right. And But let me ask you, do you have these folks all lined up or, already, or we don't know? Yeah, uh -huh. I have everything set, um, in um, um, item order for each person, so each person can get their stuff back. Uh, I started going through my stuff and found out that I had stuff in my apartment that belonged to other people, and um, I'm trying to get it across to them. Please, pretty please, then please, please, please come and get your stuff so I can get this apartment cleaned up. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Have you got anybody that you know could get um, eye to eye with my friends and say, hurry up and come and get my stuff? Oh, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't you know that I can do that. Your time it's going off the weekend, sir. So, pardon? I say, sir, um, it's have you got any extra time? The weekend's right. coming up, and um, if you know of anybody that you can look face to face for me and say, uh, say, uh, get a, a shake on the leg here and uh, get this stuff um, out of here. Your Honor, okay, here, Ms. Your Honor, yes, sir. Miss Marshall's under the impression if she cleans the apartment, she can stay there. I don't think she fully understands that she's being evicted. And if she cleans the carpet, that, that doesn't matter. She's under the impression if she cleans the apartment, she's staying there. Well, so, well, so she doesn't fully out. understand what's going on right now. Um, well, I'm trying to play my rent, but I can't. I keep getting sucked back coming to here. And um, my rent is late, and I'm trying to... Um, get my rent paid up and um i keep getting pulled back here so i can't get it um it paid and it's late for this month your honor plaintiff is um has blocked rent payment to avoid a, a park forest defense um yeah i i, I understand I that part I talk with my client to see if this is a case where they'd be willing to enter into a conditional order of dismissal <laughs> that would allow ms marshall to stay or if they want um you know this to result in a move out i have to confirm that with my client okay all right and all right marshall here's here's what i'm going to do um you got folks with you did you try to have you tried to contact um legal services of south central michigan uh no i was understanding that i'm supposed to do it later okay so, so you're, you're i want you to I, yes, I, I've been talking with Toy Dennis, and Toy Toy Dennis told me once she's served with an actual hearing date that Miss Marshall they will work with Miss Marshall for legal services, but but Miss Dennis would not start until she had the actual date, and we were provided with the this hearing date yesterday afternoon around two o'clock. So we just knew okay. about this hearing yesterday at two o'clock, and I called Miss Dennis to let her know, and I have not been able to contact Miss Dennis. I, I was not able to get in contact with Miss Dennis yesterday afternoon but i have talked to miss marshall that you know once she does have the hearing date set she can work with miss dennis and i have talked to her about that but okay right now miss marshall 
has been at Brightwell and East Lansing. Um, she was there for a couple of weeks and she was discharged back home. Um, CMH petitioned her and now she's back at Brightwell. So I don't know how that's going to work with Miss Dennis and Miss Marshall since, you know, Miss Marshall is out of the county. Got it. Okay. So let's do this. Since, since legal services has been contacted, I'm going to give you a date to come back one week out to uh, May 24th, 2024 at, at 1 p.m. And so you can let Ms. Dennis know that that's the date I've set. Okay. And it may be and that she should probably get in touch with um, the Fink Law Office for the plaintiff, um, get a clarification as to whether or not this is a circumstance that can be corrected or whether or not they want to move out. I think that's going to be the first thing that's going to have to be answered. Um, and, I, and, I and, and then try to tie it. I did talk to Carpenter Place. You know, we do have the $1,000 in funding. And I, I told them I can pay someone to clean the carpet and do all that. But they said that, um, it was kind of irrelevant at this point because they want her evicted. So they kind of told me to save my money don't spend any money to clean this apartment. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, Your Honor. all right. Well, Your Honor. we'll have plaintiff's attorney check that and double check it just to make sure. Yep. Your Honor. Ms. Yes, ma'am. Your, um, excuse me, Claudia was cleared for discharge yesterday. And so we were planning to, she was cleared before we, yesterday before we found out about the hearing date. Our plan was to discharge her back to her apartment. If she leaves tomorrow or Monday, can she return until the next court hearing? You mean, can she, can she go back to the home? apartment? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the, the apartment is hers until such time as um, the court says otherwise. Okay, thank can you. I, sir? Yes, ma'am. If I can get out of here today, it's Friday. I can get to the bank and get a certified check, which I always give for my rent. I want to get, sir, I really want to get my rent up to date. It's almost oh. been for another month, sir. And I, if I can get out of here today in a reasonable time, I want to get to the bank and get the late fees paid because it's real important oh. to me. Okay. I don't want to take up your time, but I'm thanking you for listening to me. <laughs> no, not a problem. Okay. Miss, Miss Marshall, do this. Okay. Do this for me with with your rent. Just hold on to it, and we'll figure out next week what we're going to do with that. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Next so next week almost time for another rent day. I know, but but you're you you just do that. You're not going to be in any trouble. Okay. Okay. You, if know, you say so, sir, you, you have got it. Okay. All and right. So we'll talk. I'm we'll sorry. talk about that next week. Thank you. And just, just for Miss Marshall. We're not your your landlord is not assessing late fees while your while your rent is blocked. They're not going to oh, charge oh, late fees. They oh. they they blocked it on purpose because there's a court case pending. Oh. And so so they're not going to be charging late fees while that's blocked. Oh no, babe. Thank you. And then your honor, I was just gonna ask if Lori could put her email address in the message messaging thing so I can contact Lori. Um, of how to get in contact with Toy Dennis. So I am not sure how to do that. I can call you with it because I work with Elizabeth and Jeannie. Okay, perfect. Right, right, well. Thank you so much. Yep, I'll call you with it. All right. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you, you, see you, next you week. So much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. I thank don't know you. how to thank you more than thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ms. Marshall. I'm not reinfecting myself. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Corey.